Today I'm going to show you how I made my Captain Rex helmet modeled after the version he had in Rebels. The first thing I did was get this 3D model off of Etsy. When you get a model off of Etsy you need to make sure that it's going to fit. So I printed just the neck area, realized it didn't fit. You can see on the right is the original. The left is where I opened the neck up. And when I compared this to my Hasbro Black Series, the left is actually closer to what their opening looks like. So after printing in two sections, I glued the dome onto the top of the helmet. You can see a little bit of a seam here where the visor meets. Sanding, more sanding, and yet even more sanding to get down the rough edges. I print in a 0.28 layer height. Uh, a lot of people think that's too big of a layer height because of the ridges that you get. But in using uh, model paste for my filling medium, I have found that this has actually worked out pretty well for me. The dome is where the most work is gonna have to be done. But no matter what layer height you use, whenever you're doing anything with a radius, that's where your issues are going to be with an FDM printer. So I start by roughing up the dome here so that the modeling paste that I use sticks a little better. It actually will stick to the regular plastic, but I like to rough it up a little. So I brush on uh, an initial layer, let that dry, and then I put on a second layer. Here I'm putting on the second layer on the dome. And you can see how it's already starting to fill in the cracks. This is an old jar of modeling paste that I have and there's lumps in it. So I ended up with a couple of areas that I had to sand down more than normal because of that. I take a q-tip and I push the modeling paste into and clean it out of areas that uh, are too small to just brush on with the foam brush. After it dries, I then do a coat of black sandable primer and start sanding. The sandable primer allows me to show where the higher edges are. Then after that, dry, after that I paint it again with gray filler primer and then sand number two. One thing you can say about 3D printing if you want a nice surface you're going to have to get used to doing a lot of sanding. Now here I'm just looking at a picture of someone else's helmet to get an idea of where I want to mark off to paint the blue around the visor and down the nose. I got that taped up relatively quickly and then I took some liquid latex and I just marked off a couple of spots where I'm going to have some chipping. Again this helmet is from Rebel so I wanted it to look pretty worn and scratched up, beat up, dirty. After painting the visor I am using a paintbrush but this is airbrush uh, chrome paint that I am painting the weld seams with. As I was painting it the chrome and the white because I like to use a matte white didn't really stand out very well until the chrome dried. You can see after it dried it stands out a little bit more. I'm just hand putting the markings on that he had on his helmet. I'm not trying to get them in the exact spot or the exact number that Rex actually has. I just want it to be reminiscent of what he has. Had a couple of mistakes. You can see where I tried to clean it up. I just decided that it's going to be part of the weathering so I just left it. Then I started painting the gray band. I didn't have any gray paint so this is a mix of black and white to get the consistency I wanted. If you're going to do that, make sure you mix up enough because if you don't have enough, mixing it up a second time and getting the color to match is not that easy. Now 
these are alcohol washes or alcohol inks um i got these from my local michaels the three colors are uh, a dark yellow and two different kinds of brown which i thought would make good for rust and dirtying up so here i'm using the mustard yellow and I watered it down actually with uh, some 99% isopropyl alcohol. I'm painting it along the seams of the welds and then brushing it in different areas. After it dried along the seams on the weld, I started brushing it onto the helmet itself. I brush it, let it sit for no more than 5-10 seconds, and then I wipe it off with a microfiber cloth. After doing that a couple times, you start to get a yellowing effect on the helmet that isn't uniform, which really looks good for an aged helmet to me. Here I'm just hand painting the aerators. The model that I got, the aerators are one piece, so the grill inside is part of the print. I printed these on my resin printer. After I get these painted black, then I go in and I carefully paint chrome on the grill just to get the outside of the grill and let the black which is sitting on the recesses to show through very tedious job painting those then I went to glue them in place I used quick setting glue so the one on the right is actually as you can see twisted out and then the one on the left um, is going to be straight up and down that was a big mistake of mine but I just have to live with it because I don't want to ruin it ruin the helmet to try to break the one off to put it back on here I'm getting a couple quick measurements just to see how big I need to cut some plastic to put in the visor Currently I don't have any smoked glass or smoked um, film, so I'm using a piece of clear acrylic. The blue you see is just the protective paint on it. I'm just marking off where I'm going to quickly cut so that I can get it to fit in the helmet better. Just use a little silver sharpie that I had on hand after marking it and then just running my blade across it a few times I was able to snap it apart you want to be careful here that you don't break it off too quickly because I've ruined a few visors just trying to break them off I had some chrome two-way uh, mirror like film I spray a little bit of actually rubbing alcohol instead of water on it because it will dry out quicker I press it in and then I go get my squeegee and I squeegee out the alcohol This film came from Timu. If you're familiar with the site, um, I'm happy with the film. There are a few things that I got in the order that I wasn't happy with. So if you plan on ordering from a site like Timu, be careful, pay attention to what you're getting. I ordered some painter's tape for masking off edges. It'll come in handy for some of my small projects, but when I say small projects, it's because the rolls were smaller than a roll of electrical tape, both in width and thickness, so it's not going to cover very much. I haven't used it yet. I'll be using it in a future project.
but this film here considering that it was a couple bucks I think it was actually really a decent buy because it was a huge roll and that was one small piece so I lightly tack with uh, super glue in a couple corners and then I go back in and I fill all the seams with hot glue. Then I move on to putting on the jag ears. Pull out my Cricut, quickly print out a couple of jag ears using the file that I created for my Rebel Pilot, which is a Rex inspired helmet. I paint these up again there's a little bit of chipping medium usually go two coats when I paint with this paint here that I'm using because the first coat usually just doesn't look that good while I was letting the paint dry I went in and started adding even some more weathering using that ink that I was using earlier going a lot heavier this time using the browns again you have to paint it on and then go in and wipe it off I'm pushing it into the corners because that's where all your grits gonna go when things age normally the eye stock that came with the helmet again with this model that I bought off of Etsy I'm not happy with it. I probably will make my own in the future, but um, I wanted to get this on the shelf for display so that I can move on to my next project. I'm kind of like Squirrel, where I want to move on, but um, end up coming back to things. The eye stock came with this little extra piece with holes to flip in and out, but it didn't actually attach to anything. So I decided not to use it um, at this time. Uh, I just, again, I, I wasn't happy with this part of the, the helmet. The, the overall helmet I think is good. If I was going to give it a couple critiques, I didn't like the eye stock and it does not have the slots on the cheek on either side. Uh, if you look at Rex's helmet and some of the things that are out there, some have it, some don't, but the majority do have it. So I kind of wish I would have. I may go in and add them just as a paint feature in the future because uh, I don't want to cut holes in a 3D print and possibly ruin it. But here is the finished helmet. I am extremely pleased this is probably one of the best helmets that I have done to date um, here you can see in there I put some black cloth to protect the nose section which is open but in front of the black cloth there's actually some wire mesh which I got the idea to do when looking at my phase 2 helmet from Hasbro I need a little extra padding to get it a little higher. It sits a little close to my neck. Makes it hard to turn my head, but that's on me. I will be adding that soon. Thanks for watching.